So, uh, welcome uh, lead singer Mark King and keyboard player Mike Lindner. And you were just telling us that, in fact, of course, as you can see from the images, that that is a video about sexual harassment. That's what the song's about. It is, really, yes. Um, that this naughty character is sexually harassing the tea lady. <laughs> well, it does happen. It does happen. Yeah, I mean, does. is that because you feel strongly about it as an issue, or is it just a, a weird coincidence that we should be discussing it today and see it there? Well, the, you, I don't know. You spend so many hours sexually harassing yourself when you're on the road. It's a lonely thing that uh, <laughs> you get a chance to make a video. A Which camera's on here? I've got to give a knowing look. <laughs> to the rest of the band. And listen, what we should be doing is sort of saying a hello and get better to your drummer, Gary, because he's... Absolutely. He's, yeah, he's... What's he done to it? You've well, actually got to cancel a gig tonight, haven't you? We, we, yeah, tonight and tomorrow night, in oh. fact. And what's happened is, um, you know, he's a very explosive drummer, and the friction with the sticks has worn the skin away on his finger. <laughs> and it's worn it so deeply that... Um, that infection has gone deep into the finger as well, and, and doctors told him he's got to. to so lay that's off. tonight's off, and where were you, where were you at tonight? We were going to be at Bridlington tonight, right, and oh. at Leicester tomorrow. And at Leicester tomorrow, and those are, those are those are over. Finished. Those out. are over, and right. um, you know I should say that uh, anyone that's bought tickets should go back to the hall where they got them from, right? Okay. And sort things out. Well, you know, we wish you luck. I promise you, they'll be the only ones. It's, it's, we're not happy about it. I mean, it's never happened to us in 11 years, no, mm. and no. it's um, it's something that we're not wild about. But you've got it. You, I mean, if if you didn't take the time off now, I mean, it would get even worse and it could well, of get really it would. I mean, the, 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 when you do get an infection like that, the, the idea of blood poisoning and then uh, all kinds of terrible things... Oh, and he's off the road that. for six months, isn't he? Well, absolutely, yeah. yes. It, I mean, that's... I've never heard of that before, I suppose it must happen a lot, but uh, I guess the big fear must be losing your voice on a tour, on a, on a, on a grinding tour. Well, it, it's normally the... Uh, it, it's interesting you say that because we've actually just done five nights back to back and um, as a rule, we only ever do four shows, then a day off, then four shows because we found historically that your voice... Um, you can sing four nights in a row, mm. and then the day's break is enough to get your voice back right. uh, again. It, and we, we sort of we pushed a bit harder this time. And ironically, the voices are okay, but it, it's like the fingers that went. I get quite bad um, blistering and calluses. Uh, under my, my fingernails yes. here yeah. from playing the bass. Can we get a close up of that? Yes, there. Yeah, are some nice canvases. Taking that. I oh, wasn't it? supposed to be sympathetic. It are two your fingers, fingers that are blistered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, actually, that, uh, that you get that too, don't you? Have to say. I play the guitar, yeah, but I don't play the bass. You are, you are, you are known basically as, as probably the best bass guitarist in the world. You are. Wow. He said modestly. No, well, you are. I mean, that's, that's what's written about you, and you certainly mm. sound as if you are. I mean, is that, is that because of endless dedication, endless practice, or were you born with a bass player's jeans on, as it were? No, I wasn't. Um, the, it, it, it's, the drummer's jeans on. I had a drummer's was. jeans on. Yeah. I, it, it's something that uh, I enjoy doing, and mm. uh, it, funnily enough, I'm not that precious about. I, Mike said about the drumming thing, I always wanted to be a drummer. That's why, you, if you've, you know, we have a history of great drummers. Gary mm. Husband's a wonderful drummer in the band. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to be a drummer. Ironically, that Phil Gould in the original lineup was a better drummer than me, so I ended up playing bass. And I think because I've never really worried about it, I still have yes. that sort of that drive to want to show off. It's yes. Sort of, uh, mm. Yes. You know, it's did you, I know you led a fairly wild life until fairly recently, which you sort of given up. Did, did you all as a group? I mean, you gave up drinking and things because your, your, your friend... You can um, see the marks, uh, though, can't you? You see the scars yeah. that it's left. Yes, well, you, haven't, you haven't lived in phase, I have to but say. Yes, that is, yeah. Yeah. Well, you used to drink really heavily, did you? No. No, I didn't. No, I don't know where this thing's come from, really. Just a minute. Right. So, the, uh, <laughs> page through the, page through the brief. Page of the, no, I, yes, I, I didn't really, no. But drunk, I, I so used it. to... Um, you know, I, I used to sort of just enjoy myself quite excessively when the, the, the occasion arose. And um, being a younger man and sort of quite wild, that you used to get carried away, it, it wasn't something that I had a problem so with. Why have you, so why have you stopped? Because have you stopped completely? Well, basically because um, it, it being a mood-changing thing, mm. um, I didn't like the effect that it was having armed friends and things. And what did you it, used to get like when, when you had too much to drink? Well, it was, uh, I, I suppose... Um, <laughs> The drink could sometimes bring out a kind of um, extrovert, sometimes get a sort of more aggressive mm. um, side of the character that wasn't like Mark normally at all. No. And, uh, so you're a good boy now. He's a good boy now, is he? Well, it's just something that you do. I mean, who on earth wants to offend their friends? I'm sure that a lot of people um, are, are aware of what it can be like if you, um, if you, if you do drink and you get leery. Yeah. And sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not great. Yeah. Mm. And that, that I think we found ourselves in the position that yeah. that we had so much time on our hands, we were like supporting acts, like we were supporting Madonna in the States and stuff. Well, listen, thank you for coming. It's good oh, to that's it, it? Yeah, that's it. It's all over. Good luck with the tour. And I hope you get better very soon.